Lee, has a new youth intake arrived yet? This might be them now. Hello? Oh, hi, Matt Henry. I was just wondering about the intake. What do you mean they'd be more useful than American footballers? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 3, Episode 8 at Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps and today we face North London, two massive, massive Premier League games. If we're going to get into Europe, we play Arsenal and Spurs and it's going to be tough, but let's see what we can do. Now, as you've just seen, we do have our new youth intake for the year um, and to be honest, it was nothing. Uh, we got a couple of potentially two and a half, three star players. Um, the, be the best guy coming through was Alan uh, Cudadillo, I guess you'd pronounce it. Uh, a striker who can't really finish, has poor composure and off-the-ball movement of a, a pylon. So that roughly tells you where we're at. He'd almost be better as a midfielder, to be honest. But anyway, we don't really have anything that came through this year, which is obviously disappointing, but it is what it is. But the good news is that from last year's intake, it looks like we have two players here who could develop for us. Tony Maxwell, uh, our Scottish midfielder, passing is still a little bit of a concern, but everything else there is not too bad. So potentially we have one there. And also in uh, Hurdle here who is continuing to develop nicely as well. Uh, we've actually had some bids coming in for him from other clubs. You can see there he's wanted by a few. Um, so he could be, he, he's looking as though he could actually be a first team player for us. He's got the vision and the passing and the first touch. So uh, yeah, I think he could actually, he could actually make it for us, which would be brilliant. Uh, Cause if we are going to be in European football, we need the club trained players coming through. So Hopefully he'll get there just in time for us for uh, well, maybe next season if, we, uh, if we're lucky. Now we've got two games to catch you up on since last episode, both in the Premier League. The first one against Leicester. We left it late, but Scott Munro's knockdown to Luca Bacchio won the game. So there we go. We left it very, very late. They were down to 10 men. Even when it was, uh, they went down just before half time to 10 men. Even when it was 11 on 11, we were still just about shading it. Um, we definitely deserved to win the game against 10 men, obviously. We changed to wingers to try and use the width of the field a little bit more. Arp and Dan up top did not have a good game, but I tell you what, what about the composure for Munro to knock that ball down, and Luca Bacchio, we know he loves to hit a ball, and he smacked that in the back of the net for a big three points for us away from home. Excellent stuff. Next up, we played Watford. We went in front when Fete Arp sent Farai through on goal. But Soleil's missed header drew Watford level before half-time. Before Marek Hamsik put us back in front. But Watford stole a point late on with a great strike. I honestly have no idea how we didn't win this game. We went through, we obviously went in front with Farai. Uh, they got level just on the stroke of half-time. Hamsik put it back in front and we were, we were actually dominating the game, playing really, really well. In the last 20 minutes or so... It's like they shifted up a gear and nothing I tried could close the game down. You can see good nuts and ended up having a really good game. Um, and, I mean, it was a stunning goal, wasn't it, to, to get a point at the end. But I don't know if we can recover from dropping more points at home like that. It was... In the end, it looks an even game. Trust me, guys, it wasn't. Last 20 minutes, though, they absolutely ran over the top of us. Um, so really, really disappointing. Have a quick look at the league table. You can see Tottenham are just ahead of us. Arsenal, they have two games in hand. So if they win those, they'll be on 51 points. So in, in theory, Arsenal are just behind us. So it is two massive, massive games. I thought we'd have a quick check of how our uh, former and uh, next club are doing. Aston Villa have snuck up into the playoffs, as you can see there, with five games to go. Um... So it looks like it's going to be another season in the playoffs for them. It's just whether Holloway can uh, can take them up. Uh, and if we go and have a look at Walsall, um, they are up in the automatic promotion places. So really, really good to see. Steve Bruce, maybe he's found his level uh, <laughs> down there in League One. But yeah, it is good to see Walsall. They're looking uh, as though they could be, well, they are in the race, aren't they, for automatic promotion back to the championship, which would be a great thing for them. Uh, all right, let's go and have a look at what we're doing here because we are going to be playing against Arsenal first up. Um, and we're away from home for both games today, and we're not the favourites for this one. We've uh, lost twice and drawn twice against Arsenal so far. What seemed to be the most inevitable football manager appointment in history, Terry Henry is their, uh, is their manager. He's a decent-ish manager, isn't he, really? Uh, if we have a quick look here, they're a balanced, direct style of play. Direct style of play on Ree. You wouldn't have picked someone with pace wanting to play direct, would you? Uh, we can see the way we're expecting them to line up there. They got a 1-1 draw. They snuck a 1-1 draw against Newcastle last time out. Uh, we can see they're perhaps a little bit narrow when, they, uh, when they're when they defending, but they do like to attack in wide areas. Passing network, we can see that there. 
and their key passes as well. And this is a team that we're sending out. Now, it's going to look a little bit funky, but I have a thought here. Uh, first of all, it's Gunnarsson in goal. It's McKenna and Soleil at the back. It's Bogle down the right. Michelotti is back fit. He's down the left. Big, big get uh, to get him back for us because he's not really match sharp. But he's had a couple of games in the under-23s, and he's, well, he's, he's going to be good to go here. It's Garner, Hamshik, uh, Farai, and Paolo Versa in midfield. Up's going to play up top. Dan, as I said, has not been playing well. Look at that recent form, 6.64. Luca Bacchio has a goal in him. You saw that they are um, they're defending a little bit narrow, so we're going to try him as an inside forward um, and just try and basically draw the defense out, let uh, Michelotti get down the outside, and just see if we can cause a little bit of havoc uh, in that sense. We know Boggle will go up and down that right-hand side, not a problem in the world. So we're trying something. Let's hope it works. Of course, last time I tried something, we gave away a penalty against Chelsea, ended up costing us three points. So let's hope it goes a little bit better this time. They've actually come out a little bit different here, haven't they? A very attacking looking 4-4-2. Um, wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Now that basically means everything that I've planned here based on the Newcastle game, it goes out the window, doesn't it? Bowen says encourage the players. Um, let's show them what we're capable of. I do like that as a team talk. Some calm, we have faith. And yeah, we'll see how we do. All right, and here we go. Here we go. Let's hope getting Michelotti back. It's his first start back after injury. So let's hope. I think it is anyway. I don't think he played before this. Um, so let's hope he gets a good performance in here for us. We've got an early set piece to defend. Almeida to take it. It's a good free kick, isn't it? Good Nartson beaten at the near post. You wonder if he could have done a little bit better. Uh, but it did go round the wall. It's, yeah, it's very difficult to blame that on Good Nartson. Looks like he maybe got a fingertip on it, but... I think you've just got to hold your hands up on that one, don't you? And say that is a good free kick, my friend. Um, that is really, really disappointing. I'm wondering, having seen the way they're lining up, if we actually want to maybe be attacking them through the middle more. Um, <clears throat> Hamshik's got a booking there. Another free kick to defend. I'll do well to score from there directly. McKenna heads it out. Oh, it's not going our way, is it? It's not going our way. Um... Oh, that's so unlucky. A header away. It's Gwenduzi that's stuck it in the back of the net. McKenna won a good ball there, and it's oh, it's into Kalasinic. He just he didn't get enough elevation on his header, did he? If you've got a header higher than that, mate. Uh, all right, so we're in serious trouble here already. I think we need to change the way we're playing, and we need to look to go through the middle here, don't we? Um, so let's switch those two around, see if that works for us so we don't waste the sub. We are going to attack through the middle. Um, yeah, let's try that. Let's go and close them down as well. Let's see if that has any impact for us. Are we going to see the corner highlight? No, we are not. But uh, yeah, 2-0 down. This is not what was supposed to happen. We've got another highlight here. Kalasinic with a throw. It's a good block there. Is it going to fall for one of our players? No, there's no one even up there. Um, I really wasn't expecting them to come out like this. So I've, I'm trying to think on the, on the fly here, which is hard work for me. Here we go with Farai. Can he pick a pass here for us? We've got men getting forward. Michelotti's there. Farai, he goes down the line. Michelotti was not even so, kind of on the same wavelength there. And Arsenal come away with it. We picked it up there with Boggle. Palaversa through for Luca Bacchio to Arp. Can Fete Arp go? Oh, what a strike from Fete Arp that is. A 13th goal of the season for him. It's 2-1. And that was an absolute rocket off the foot of Filetto. What's his name? Fete Arp. Boggle did well there. Straight into Palaversa. Bacchio in space. Fete Arp, one touch. And an absolute bullet into the back of the net. What a strike that is. Good time, actually, to probably mention final call for uh, nominees for Viewers Player of the Year for this season. Um, so don't forget to leave me those in the comments. And uh, we'll, we'll do the, the vote for that next episode. Here we go with Farai coming forward. Farai goes past one. Farai gets it out wide there. We're a different team all of a sudden for Boggle. Boggle gets it forward. Fete Yarp is there, and Fete Yarp has a double. We've turned the game on its head. And this is why I shouldn't try things, because I tried something, we were 2-0 down, I untried it, and suddenly it's 2-2. Let's demand more. Farai did brilliantly there to get past the one man. All out for Boggle in acres and acres of space. And it looks like a bit of a deflection on the cross. Fete Arp reject, uh, re re reacted, not rejected, reacted quickest. And it's 2-2, and what a turnaround that is. 
We've got work to do now defending another free kick. We've already conceded two goals from free kicks today. We're not going to con surely concede a third. Four to the oh, that is horrible, horrible, horrible defending. And it's 3-2. I think I know what we're doing in between these two games. They've caught, they've got a touch of the ballers here, haven't they? What? Everybody getting sucked in towards the ball. No one staying on their man. And, well, that's annoying, isn't it? You do all that work to come back from 2-0 down. And you find yourselves behind at the break anyway. Here we go with Hamshik. Free kick. It's a decent one. It's headed away. McKenna picks it up. Can he get a decent ball back into the box? No, he cannot. And are we going to get caught on the break and find ourselves two goals behind again? Norwich is beating Chelsea, which has got to be a bit of a turn up. Palavers is putting in the big ones there. He does his best. It's headed away. It's, oh, it's a good save from Goodnartson. It's a great save from Goodnartson. And it may have been offside anyway, was it? I missed that. Uh, but there we go. That's going to be half time. 3-2. And Fateh Yap's heroics have well, maybe kept us in the game, but um, what do we say? You've played well. You're unlucky not to be winning. If we could defend the free kick, boys, you'd be absolutely flying here. Um, who's not playing well there? Mitchell Lotti. I mean, he is just coming back from injury. We have Mikulic on the bench. We could look to bring him on. Um, ideally, I want Mitchell Lotti to try and get the 90 minutes in here, though. Let's try a demand more. Farai's looking frustrated and furious. That's not great. Michelotti on a booking now as well. That's probably not ideal, is it? We'll give it a get creative here when we can. Um, and we might need to call it on Michelotti. Still not playing particularly well and on a booking. So let's get Mikulic on for him. Um, it's good match fitness for um, good match fitness for him anyway. Uh, let's get Palaversa off. Let's get Mabry on. And let's get Mabry going as a Mazella. And see if he can spark us into action here. Double change on the hour mark. Chelsea's back to 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can demand more as the highlight begins. Saha. It seemed like such a, the, the transfer that's going to happen eventually, doesn't it? Saha to Arsenal. Ball in. And is he offside? I think he's offside. Tell you what, we've looked an absolute shambles defending across, haven't we? Gwen Doozy, and it is offside, so you'd, you'd maybe argue if he wasn't offside, we would have got there first, but there we go. Um, here we go, a corner, Ferrari knocks it in, it's decent. Soleil is there, back pose, is he onside? He is, Luca Bacchio, he just pops up with goals, he's sixth of the season, it's 3-3. Three, three. It's been a really, really entertaining game. It's just a shame we can't defend a set piece. Let's uh, let's tell them to concentrate. Good ball in. Soleil with a great header at the near post. A flick on him. Bakio, back at, yeah, Luca Bakioko. No, Luca Bakio. Got there in the end. <laughs> He's there to tap it in. Excellent stuff. Arsenal with a triple change. And let's give him some praise. Let's see if we can go on and win this late on. We've just about stayed in this game for 90 minutes. Can we go and nick it at the very, very end? I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. But 3-3 away from home to Arsenal. It's such a shame we couldn't defend a set piece. Now, well, that was a good game of football. Well done, boys. Goals galore as Brentford and Arsenal draw up on form. What about those two? That first goal particularly. An absolutely stunning strike from Fete up. And uh, Gula is having a look at McKenna as he wants to sign him. Not going anywhere, mate. Guys, wait right there. We go to Spurs next. I'll tell you what, if the game's half as good as that, it'll definitely be worth coming back for. Okay, welcome back. Now, before we get to the Spurs game, a quick bit of off-field action to catch you up on. We have asked and been approved for youth recruitment, improvement, and also junior coaching. So we have a quick look at what that means. Uh, down here, you can see good uh, academy coaching and adequate recruitment. So we'll keep working on that for them. Hopefully, um, we'll continue to improve off the field. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a step in the right direction. So hopefully, future youth intakes will continue to be better than the ones that we had previously. Um, now... We are away to Spurs. They are the favourites for this one, which is maybe not surprising. Um, our form is giving us the middle finger, which is nice of it. <laughs> and we can see here, already one game today. Liverpool and Everton have drawn. That's a bad result for us, because Liverpool's ahead of us. We're not catching them. But Arsenal, uh, but, uh, sorry, um, Everton, 
we really could have done with them not picking up any points there. So that is a bit of a disappointing result. But they are a Gertzka at Sore coach team. He was the manager last time we played them and they beat us, if I remember correctly, as well. Uh, they're an attacking, passing, playing style. We can see here we're expecting a 4-4-2. Uh, Kane, Parrot, Foden. It's like a who's who of English talent, isn't it? Lo Celso is still there as well. Um... So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough game. We can see they do like to attack down the wings, but look at their midfield, very very open. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to exploit that. Uh, we can see there their passing network and their key passes there as well. This is a team that we're sending out. It's more or less the same team, just a bit of a tweak up top. So it's a good nuts and in goals. McKenna and Soleil continuing at the back. Boggle down the right. Michelotti down the left. Garner, Hamshik, Farai, and Palo Versa continue in midfield. Up and Bakayo and Luca Bakayo. Sorry, they're going to start how we finished the last one, and hopefully. Hopefully, they'll uh, we'll start strongly. So, there we go. Everybody is lining up as expected. Um, we did work on defending free kicks and corners, so hopefully, we'll see a benefit of that. Bowen says, uh, nothing to lose here. Show what we're capable of. Let's go with that again. Um, it kind of worked against Arsenal. We came back from 2-0 down, so we showed them kind of what we've got. But yeah, like I say, we just need to we just need to defend free kicks properly here, and then we just might be a chance of uh, of getting some points off Tottenham. Uh, it is getting to very much. Um, we've just got to get results. I do I do think if we were to get into Europe, I think we would have a de we have a decent squad for it already. There's a players on the bench now that aren't playing that are more than good enough. The likes of Raspadori, who's been ripping it up in the under twenty threes. Um, obviously, the wizard isn't playing right now. We also have uh God damn it, boys. Come on. Nine minutes and we're behind again. Troy Parrott this time. Um, we need to defend with more width. I, was, I almost I went back and forth a few times. So that's exactly how we should defend, given that, that they did like to attack in wide areas. And maybe we did just need to be a little bit a uh, little bit more width there with our defensive line. We just... It's just too passive, isn't it? It's too passive. I'm not going to put get stuck in on, because we saw against Chelsea what that happens when I do that. But that is... All just a little bit too simple, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you can I mean even on the bench here, you know, I mean, Mabry is only on loan, so we may not get him back for next season. Uh, but we, I think we do have a squad that in the Europa League certainly could, um, you know, could compete in the group stages, which is, I'd imagine, all we would need to look to do. Here we go with Boggle getting forward, cross into the box. It's back post, Michelotti's there. And Michelotti straight into the goalkeeper's arms. We saw him start this, and he was a big part, I think, to the reason why we started this season so well. Michelotti just banging in the goals. I think he had seven in the first couple of weeks of the season. Um, and his injury, there's no doubt, really did set us back. Here we go with Farai getting forward. Can he pick a pass now? Farai, he goes wide to Boggle. They weren't quite on the same wavelength there. Boggle pulls it back. It's in there, and it's bundled in by Manuel Farai, his third of the season. Continued his run into the box. Did really, really well, and it's 1-1. Suddenly, we're a free-scoring team that can't defend. Whereas we used to be an excellent defensive team who couldn't score. What's going on with this team? A little bit of consistency, boys. It was not the best pass, but he can took it. He continued his run in beautifully and was there to scramble it over the goal line. Not a classic, but it'll do. It'll do. It's 1-1. All right. Let's see if we can go and take a lead for the first time this episode, shall we? Farai's picked up a pulled groin. That's not going to work for us. We're going to have to bring on Mabry. We'll wait till after this highlight. And Kane. Oh, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We It's it's heading, it seems, always a problem. McKenna's got his name highlighted there. At, so it may might be that it's his fault. A little bit unlucky that this didn't just run out for a corner. Kane got there first. Got past the two defenders, and yeah, McKenna's just got to be stronger, doesn't he? But it's it. Can you? I mean, you can blame McKenna for it, I guess. He, you've got to be stronger. We've got another free kick to try and defend here. Good Nutsons there. Punches it clear for Mabry. All right, can we get them on the break here? Mabry wide there for Arp. Come on, Fete Arp. He's got Luca Bacchio with him. Fete Arp. Arp. No. The Spurs defense. They got back quickly, didn't they? There wasn't really an option there for Arp other than the shoot. Sessin Young has it now. Can we can we go and win this ball back, please, boys? They just look a little bit better. Oh, Mitchell Rotten. They just look that little bit better than us. I'm going to say, let's take counter press off. Let's just try and regroup. 
Uh, of course, if this goes in at 3-1, it's, it's very, very difficult, isn't it, to come back from that. It's Harry Kane against Goodnatson. Come on, Goodnatson. Oh, he goes the right way, but nowhere near it. We'll tell him to show some passion. And we just we look at defensive shambles again. And we did I mean we did defensive training this week to try and tighten things up. 22nd goal for Harry Kane this year. You know, we worked on defending set pieces, and you wouldn't know it looking at us. We still look an absolute shambles. McKenna's only playing a 6.3. Um yeah, Hamshik's not having a great game in there. Arp and B Luca Bacchio aren't quite working for us. Arsenal's winning 2-0. Um, let's try being aggressive, see if we can shake him into action here. Um, I'm wondering if we need to change formation and go with wingers. We just haven't played well, have we? McKenna playing a 6.2. We do have uh, Suisi on the bench we could look to bring on. Let's just see exactly how we react to that halftime team talk. And if we go down another goal, then it starts to go very wrong very quickly, doesn't it? Ball in, Kane's there. Oh, what is going on? Um, all right, well, we need to change, don't we? I'm wondering if we actually just need to take McKenna off, if he is... Is that that's probably McKenna there, is it? Let's have a look. I mean McKenna's looking the other way. And leaving it for James Garner. Alright, so I think Michelotti's picked up it's all going wrong, isn't it? It's all going wrong. Um We've already made a sub. So we can't really change anything. Then we can't go to wingers. We don't have the we don't have the subs available to do that. So we've just got to try and stick it out now with what we've got, which is disappointing. I really want to bring Dan off the bench this time and see if he could work up there with uh, it's sort of in the Luca Bacchio role. But yeah, I mean, Soleil's not doing much ba much better back there in the defence. It's it's just been an absolute shambles, hasn't it? An absolute shambles. I wonder if I wonder if dropping the line a little bit would help as well. Um. But that sort of that doesn't really make sense because if they're getting crosses into the box, you wouldn't think sitting deep is gonna gonna help that. Um, come on, boys, demand more. Can we get another goal, please? Oh, I was full of hope when it got back to one-one, and we've just not put in a good performance here whatsoever. Boggle with a throw to Luca Bacchio. Back to Boggle. Can he get a cross into the box? He goes back to Ghana. Ghana to Palaversa. Back to Ghana. Boggles in space if he's onside. Here we go with Mabry. Mabry there for Arp. Arp goes past his man, Arp. Trying to outdo himself with the strike against Arsenal. That would have been an absolute classic. Come on, boys. Show some passion here. Get back in this game. Or at least get a goal if you can't get back into it. Let's go close them down. Um, let's try exploit the middle. I'm going to raise the tempo. What? What? <laughs> What can possibly go wrong? Another corner to defend. Remember the training, boys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another lost header. Gunnarsson is there, thankfully. And we'll tell him to get creative. See if we can get something going. Let's get at least back to 4-2. Make it look like we were kind of competitive. Here we go with Mikulic getting forward. Hopefully the uh, Michelotti injury isn't going to be too serious, though. He hasn't really come back particularly well, has he? Here we go with Mabry walking through the Spurs defence. And again, can't quite find the finish. And yeah, well, that's been disappointing, hasn't it? Spurs above us in the lead, uh, in the league, I should say, by one spot. But it looked like much more than that. The match stats were relatively even, but that was that was not a relatively even game. So Tottenham east to victory. Farai's out for three to four days. Michelotti's out only for a day or so. So that's that's not that's going to be okay. Um, we should have them back for our next game, which is Southampton, but. As the season begins to draw to a close here, it's it's looking as though we're just in a battle for Europa League if we can get there. We could use Arsenal dropping some points, but potentially with two games in hand, they're on 55 points, um, which obviously puts them above us. Seventh should be a Europa League spot with Spurs, have, or a European spot anyway, with Spurs having won the Carabao Cup. Um, but uh, yeah...
it's going to be it's going to be down to ninth, I think, isn't it? Brighton and up. I think we're in a battle with them for a European spot. But guys, that'll do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We're, the wins have just deserted us lately, haven't they? That's actually the first game we've lost in a little while, but we're not winning games and drop it's drop points, isn't it? You're better off winning one in three than or you're just as good winning one in three as you are drawing three, and we're just dropping too many points. But guys, as I said, we'll be back next time. We'll face Dean Smith's uh, Nottingham Forest, and then we go away to Manchester City. Um, the final two away games of the year, and it's gonna we're gonna have to. We're going to have to pick up a lot of points between now and then. Uh, don't forget to leave your nominations for this season's Player of the Year, and we will uh, vote on that next episode as well. But until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.